We're on the Fanuc standard for Kuma 2021. A whole range of machines, the latest ones, the SIB models. David, a fantastic machine. This is a 220. Tell me more about it and how have you improved it? Yeah, you are right. So this is our new 220 machine. Uh, the previous years we started to produce in 2012, and now this is the now we changed this machine for yeah. the B series. Okay, but you've been making these machines 35 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We started. Fanuc started to develop testing and produce the machine 35 years yeah. ago, and right now we have more than 66,000 what we are sold in the market. So, what improvements have you made to this machine? Uh, this machine is more faster. We have more options inside. It's more reliable, and we're using okay. less energy okay. more, and more precision. Is that, why is that, because it's electric? Yeah, this is a full electric machine what we have. Inside we have four servo motors and we have two standard motors as well, what we are using for the movements. Okay. And Be for the plasticizing and for the injection. Okay, because it's unusual to have electric motors on an injection molding machine. Does it make them faster? Does it make them more accurate? Yeah, this is more accurate because we get all the data from the servo motor. That right. is the reason it's so precise. Uh, in the same time, with the servo motors, we can reduce the energy consumptions as well. Okay, and also with this, so it's electric, electric motors, but CNC controlled. Yeah, we're using our CNC controllers, what Fanuc is developing and producing more than 65 years old, uh, 65 years. Uh, this is the latest technology what we are using right now in our injection molding machines. Okay, and one key point is because it's Fanuc, you produce all the components for the machine. Yeah, we're producing everything in-house in Japan. With this range, this is a 220, but what is a whole range of machines? Uh, officially we started from 15 ton, and after that we have a 13 ton and a 50 ton. But right now in the B-series machine, the model is changed from 100 ton until the 220. Yep. And later on, we're changing the models in the 250, 300 and the 450 ton machines as well. Wow, so 2022, we're up to, up to 450 tons. Yeah, it's, yeah. Okay, now in terms of the hardware on this machine, you've changed or upgraded a number of things like the screw? Uh, yeah, we improve many, many things. Uh, for example, we have more screw and barrels what is available. So for example, in one machine, you can choose even six or eight different oh. screw and barrels, depending on the material what we are using and depending the quantity what you want to inject. Okay, because I'm thinking with these machines, it is about big batch runs, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands. But if I do need to, need to change a screw over, is it simple to do, is it quick? Yeah, it's quite simple and quick. It depends on your practice, but it's take one hour or less than. Now with this machine, with, with this range, the SIB, you've upgraded the speed, the injection speed as well? Yeah, we increased the injection speed as well. We increased this pressure, the pressure as well in the injection unit side. It's good getting the parts in, but what about the ejector pins? Yeah, we increased the acceleration in the ejector side as well to reduce the cycle time to make it quicker. The automation solution, what is happening here? Yeah, this is a Cartesian robot what we are using from our partners. This is yeah. we're using for uh, for easier applications to taking out the parts. Right. For more uh, complex complex parts, yeah. yeah, we're using six axis robots. The control system, it's a CNC control, but you've upgraded the HMI. Yeah, we have a new screen in the machine. This is a 21.5 inch full wow. HD high resolution screen what we are using okay. right now. And with the same time, we have more options what are available. So for example, with this one, we have a multiply window. Uh, we increase the, the, better, uh, the memory as well in the machine. Uh, we have more options what are available. And one key thing, because it is all electric, how about power consumption? Uh, look, the power consumption is much lower than the standard hydraulic machines. It's like 70-75% uh, lower. Wow. Because this machine is using the energy when it's running. And otherwise, when we, we have some areas when we can regenerate the energy, yep. so that, that energy we're using in the controller and in the, in the barrel heating system. Okay, so that's really key to it, especially with increased energy yeah, costs. Nowadays, moment. it's really important to okay. decrease your energy. So just to summarize, a few key points on this machine and this range of machines. So this machine is more faster, more reliable, more, pre more precise and using less energy.